Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about how to deal with an annoying co-worker or teammate. I'm sure that at some point in your career you're probably going to be working closely with somebody that kind of pushes your buttons for some reason. It may just be some sort of personality clash, you know, for whatever reason, but they kind of just get on your nerves. And um, I just sort of thought I'd just do this video about how to, to deal with that. I just thought it might be interesting. And I'd also love to get your comments as well. So my five top tips, and I must, I'm just gonna caveat this by saying, I haven't really had that many experiences, certainly in the, not in the last 10, 15 years, of working with anybody that I haven't really got along with. Um, I have had one or two individuals that I've found more challenging than others, and I'm sure there are people out there that have found me challenging to work with. So, hey, you know, what goes around comes around, but that's, that's where we are. So I'm just gonna share my five top tips. So the first tip is maybe find out what your triggers are. So what are your buttons? So I said, you know, this is about maybe you've got a teammate or a coworker that pushes your buttons. What are your buttons? What is it that annoys you? You know, so try to maybe like figure out why you are getting annoyed by this other person and kind of just figure out maybe whether you can reset your expectations, you know. So if somebody annoys you because they come into work, and I have heard of this by the way, they come into work and they're always really cheery, like really cheerful on a Monday morning and it kind of gets you, gets you go which is a little bit strange, but I know that this sometimes happens. So maybe just think about, okay, what is it that annoys me? Okay, I'm annoyed when they come in and they're really cheery. And then maybe think about how you can change that situation up. So either you can change your response to them when they come in and that happens, or you can maybe take yourself out of that situation. You can maybe think, do you know what? They always come in at like 10 to nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the coffee machine at like quarter two and I'm gonna have a coffee so that I'm not there when they come in and they're all cheery and I can miss the cheeriness. Why you would wanna miss the cheeriness, I don't know, but I know that some people do. So I'm kind of saying, figure out what your triggers are and see maybe whether you can change that situation or change your response to actually deal with it so that it doesn't annoy you anymore. Okay, first tip. Second tip is find out what their triggers are. So actually, if you're annoying each other, try to figure out, okay, what is it that's annoying them? Um, and you don't necessarily need to ask them, but you, you can kind of tell sometimes um, in a workplace, especially if you share an office with somebody and they, they sit fairly close, you can kind of tell when they get a bit annoyed at you because I think one of the ways that you can tell is when there's banter going on in the office, or banter, as some people say, there's banter. Sometimes they might go a little bit quiet if you've said something that annoys them. They might decide that they're not gonna laugh at your banter. So if something like that happens, try to figure out what is it that's making them annoyed. So maybe you're the person coming into the office and being all cheery, and that kind of annoys them. And I'm not saying don't be a cheery person, but I'm kind of just saying, try to figure out what it is that's annoying them and see whether you can adapt your behavior so that you don't annoy them, so that you're not annoying each other. So that's my second tip. The third tip, now not related to anything to do with what's annoying you about them or what's annoying them about you, the third tip is offer to help them. Offer to help them in some way, whether it be with their daily kind of like task, their daily task list, or if they've got a specific project or something that they're struggling with, you know, there might be a client that they're struggling with or a specific um, issue or problem, just offer to help. I just kind of find that that sometimes breaks down barriers, you know, often, as long as it's, it's kind of given with um, kind of the right intent, so you're not kind of offering that help to show that they've got any sort of weakness that you're kind of calling out. But you just genuinely saying, look, you know, do you know what I hand with, with that? You know, that might actually go down quite well. It might just help to break the ice. So that's my third tip, offer to help. The fourth one, kind of related to offering to help um, your colleague, is maybe find a joint project to work with them. Now, I'm a big fan of projects generally in terms of more getting work experience and just having a richer kind of work environment and, and kind of really varying up your, your day job so it doesn't become stale. So maybe find a project that you can both get involved in. So there's always, there's always projects going on. So just speak to somebody around the office, you know, your, your manager, one of the directors, somebody that's more senior, somebody in marketing, sales, operations, whatever it be, there'll be something going on. And maybe if there's some project that you can get involved in, maybe speak to your coworker and say, do you know what, I'm really thinking of like volunteering to get involved in 
XYZ project. Do you wanna kind of get involved as well? You know, it might be something that we can work on together from this department. So that's my other top tip is find a joint project to work on. I sometimes find that if you're being productive with that person, you're generating output, that you're more likely to then get along with them rather than just being annoyed by each other's kind of like little bad habits. And my fifth and final tip is just to, you know, have it out with them. That, that's all I'm gonna say. So basically, if you're annoying them, they're annoying you, and you're constantly kind of like having these silent, awkward moments, just have the conversation. And you can start that conversation by saying, um, so, you, so obviously you need to pick your moment, so find a kind of, kind of quiet time and say, have you got five minutes? And then when you go into that room, wherever it be, the canteen, the coffee shop, wherever, say, right, I'm gonna have kind of a slightly awkward conversation now, or say, you know, I'm gonna have a slightly difficult conversation. So what you're doing there is you're just warning them that you're gonna have a bit of a tricky one. What I'm basically saying is don't sort of say to them, if you've got five minutes, then when you go into the room, you just say to them, you're really annoying me. That's not the way, because they're gonna get their back up. You're just gonna end up, you know, it's not gonna be good, basically. It's not gonna end pretty. So what I'm basically saying is, you know, just get them into a room for five minutes and just say, I just wanna have a, re a kind of maybe slightly awkward, embarrassing, difficult conversation to talk about maybe the fact that sometimes we don't always get along and just, you know, can we kind of see whether we can make things better? So is there something I'm doing that's annoying you? Or, you know, these are some of the things, you know, that maybe, you know, could we see if we could tweak those. And that's it really, that's the fifth and final tip. Have it out with them. So that's it, my five top tips for how to deal with an annoying coworker. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, more career advice, more of how to get the most out of your profession, starting up your own business, being happier and healthier more generally, please subscribe to the channel. Press the little bell so that you get a notification when the next video is out. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.